Hey guys and welcome back. Today is Sunday so that means you guys are getting a new recipe video and I'm making a nice cream sandwich. Um, you guys are going to be really impressed by this because the kitchen tool is pretty awesome. So I found this on Amazon. It makes your ice cream sandwiches and how when you open it, it's two silicone pads and then the inside of it is this plastic and it's going to help us build and create ice cream sandwiches. So we're going to make an ice cream sandwiches because again we're keeping this whole food plant based of course and we want this to be health promoting but every once in a while having a nice cream sandwich is a pretty nice treat so I wanted to share this with you guys. So you're just going to take apart your gadget and I'll have it linked below on Amazon where you can find it. I think you can find it in a couple other spots um, besides Amazon but it's it's pretty cool. These are silicone pads and you can actually bake in these. We're actually going to bake our cookie parts in these. And then I'll show you how to put it all together with an ice cream. So we're going to make our cookie batter. We're making a almond cookie kind of because we're going to use that almond milk from Wednesday's video. I told you we were going to do something with the almond meal and I have half a cup of it right here. So I will have all of the description of the recipe linked below. So every measurement I do, I'll let you know in the comments. Um, go ahead and look at that for reference. But we're gonna use half a cup of almond meal. And I just did that from our last video. So if you made homemade almond milk, that's perfect. We're gonna use a couple almond flavored things for our almond cookies. So half a cup into a bowl. I have half a cup of rolled oats, so I'm gonna add that as well. I have a tablespoon of cinnamon. I really like cinnamon, it just adds an extra flavor. And then our wet ingredients are our one fourth cup of almond butter. I have raw almond butter. That is gonna make it taste really good and help everything kind of stick together. And then I also have some date syrup that I blended. So I took five dates and about half a cup of hot water and blended it in my Nutribullet. And we're going to add that to our mixture. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add as we go. The cookie part doesn't really have to be the sweetest part because the nice cream is going to be pretty sweet. And it all depends on like per personal taste buds um, for how sweet you want to make it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly combine everything and then add in as much of our date syrup as I need so that everything's like well combined. You want it to be, the batter to be kind of sticky before we put it in the oven. So go ahead and mix up everything before you add your date syrup. Everything is starting to stick together from the almond butter. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit at a time. I really want the almond flavor to be the real showstopper and then if I can use the rest of this I can put it in the fridge and use it throughout the week for my sweetening agent because it's just dates. Okay that's pretty good. So you didn't need a lot, you just needed a little dash. It should come kind of like a batter. You should look look like it sticks together. And go ahead and make sure that's all mixed up and then what you're going to do is you're going to bake it in these little silicone cookie sheets for our ice cream sandwiches and they gave you a little tool because you need to make sure it's um, very flush with the silicone pad. You don't want it to be too popping over. So I'll just go ahead and take a little bit and go ahead and drop that in each little spot. It even has the little cookie holes when we bring it out. It's going to be super cute. But this is going to make a lot of nice cream, little mini nice cream sandwiches, which I love. Just a little treat, and I'm going to freeze the rest so that I have it throughout the week for a little, little extra treat. And I think this is perfect because summer's coming to an end, and not that you can't make this all year round, but you can make these flavored. Um, we're going to keep our nice cream sandwiches pretty simple today with just bananas, but you can make chocolate nice cream sandwiches, peppermint for the holidays. We'll have to do a lot of different kinds. This is just like an almond cookie for the first one. And then we'll do the rest. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the first cookie one first. <laughs> and I'm just gonna smush it down. And you can use your fingers for this. If it's your hands are clean and it's your cookie you're gonna eat, you know, why not? But there's just this tool to kind of make sure it's staying flush with it. And then you can preheat your oven to 375 degrees. We're only going to bake these for about 12 minutes. 
um, just keep an eye out because everyone's oven is a little different different than everyone's you may have an older one so just pop back they don't take much time at all so you don't want to walk away from it but go ahead if this is the tedious part is just making them fit inside this cookie mold so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and I'll show it to you guys when it's all done just to give you an up close look at the cookies before they go in the oven but that's what I mean there nice and fitted in there I'm gonna go do the second one and then we're gonna pop it in 375 for 12 minutes while the cookie bakes we can make our nice cream so I just cut up about it's about two and a half large bananas that I had frozen so you're using frozen bananas that's very key okay go ahead and put those into your blender high-speed blender my Vitamix is perfect for this I really like it I'm gonna do now you can do whatever flavors you want for this which, which is why I love this you can put pumpkin pie spice in it make it a pumpkin flavored one we're gonna use a tablespoon of cinnamon I really like cinnamon it's really good for you so put that in there a tablespoon of vanilla extract and then I have half a cup of unsweetened almond milk that I'm gonna go ahead and help my blender out and then all I'm gonna do is go ahead and, and Combine this really well I'm going to use um, there's this little tool when you buy a Vitamix that comes with it let me grab it and show you I don't know the exact term for this but I'm gonna go ahead and use this and make sure it comes together really creamy and if you need to add more almond milk because your blender's not working out well go ahead and add it just depends on the size of your bananas um, but this is a really nice good base for making nice cream you just want to blend until everything comes together now mine is gonna be like looks kind of like it's chocolate it's not um, it's just because my bananas were kind of browner when I froze them um, and I use cinnamon so it doesn't make the prettiest ones but if you use uh, really nice you know white bananas whenever you do it, it should make that vanilla looking substance it won't look like mine um, but I don't mind it's really about the taste for me um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the freezer while my rest of my cookies cook and I also want to let them cool down before we do anything with them so it gives a nice time for this to kind of get nice and hard again and not be so creamy but you just want it to be a nice kind of it's still not coming off very easily it's thick but it's all nice and well combined together that's really the consistency that you want for an ice cream I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the freezer when your cookies come out of the oven, this is what they should look like. It's nice and brown on the outside, but still a nice color on the inside. But I'm going to let them cool down now to touch before we do anything with the ice cream. But they look really good. Once your cookies have cooled down, you want to put back in this little contraption. So this is going to be kind of like the area that you put your ice cream, but it keeps it all all put so we do need to clear out some room in our freezer because these are going to go into the freezer for a few hours but go ahead and um carefully put back on it goes on pretty easily this white part okay and once it's on well we are going to um put our ice cream now instead of flipping this over what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carefully pop out my cookies and then I'm gonna put them flipped over I'll show you guys how I do it but this just ensures that they're not gonna break so I'm gonna go ahead and pop these out and they make the cutest little cookies ever and this will just help me whenever I go to assemble it and put it back in just so they don't fall apart it's a little trick I've learned Get your ice cream out of the freezer. If it's still kind of not perfectly gelled together, that's okay. But we go ahead and fill up the spots for your ice cream. And I'm just gonna, I use a fork. I don't know why it makes it easier, but go ahead and fill in the white part of your kit. And then you're gonna place your cookie face down on top. Go ahead and do that for all of them and then we're going to put the top of it back on and we're going to stick this back into the freezer for a few hours. Of course the longer you leave it in the freezer the more hopefully it'll stay together but I'll show you guys when we're done. Go ahead and fill up your ice cream containers now. Well, then you just want to put this part of the silicone back on top. It should go on pretty easily and it just clips in. You'll know that it's
secure, just gently press it down my fingers. When it's all set, you can go ahead and put this in your freezer for a few hours. So there you guys have it. You have your nice cream of sandwiches. They look so good. And make sure you're subscribed if you're not. Follow along. I'll see you guys on Wednesday for a new video. And I hope you guys are enjoying the last weeks of summer. Bye.